you've all heard about community gardens, but this is a little bit different of a spin. It's a community food forest. How did this all begin, Larissa? Well, there was this empty lot behind the Samaritan house and they approached the South End Community Association and they knew about our group, so MyCDC, which is a nonprofit community service co-op, a little bit different again, but we are really interested in connecting people and land and community development and create a real good um, community around uh, support and creativity in our community. So we thought, wow, this is a really good opportunity to start working in the community. And so South End Community Association approached us and we developed this project together. Uh, the, South, the Samaritan House needed a parking lot, two spaces. So they said, well, we'll have our two parking spaces and the rest can be developed into a garden. And we, we didn't want to do a regular uh, community garden because we were afraid that, as happens with many community gardens, it's really hard to maintain. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they'll do the first year and then not come back the next year. We thought, well, uh, the food forest system really allows the system to grow on its own with a little bit of maintenance. Uh, and so we worked together with Sika for about two years. We had quite a few work parties. This was a lot of work. It's hard to see, but it's very labor intensive to put in a food forest because it's the beginning of it. Like it's very intensive gardening. We have to do several layers of cardboard, manure. I mean, for a whole day, we were just moving cardboard and manure and planting came right at the very end. And then once the space was um, installed and we, we had this beautiful garden growing, we thought, well, why don't we start using the space to actually create this culture of creativity and support? And so we decided to create the art in the food forest, which is coming up on August 13th. And we connected with other groups um, around the piece, around art and creativity. So we collaborate, we're collaborating now, not only with the South End Community Association, but with IAOU Art Collective with Valentina and the Nanaimo Arts Council, Balbina Studio, which is a, a local artist here, and also with the Ira Smith the Aerial Photography, Doug, which is, he's doing all the doc documentation of the whole process, which is great because we can really show just how much this community has put into putting this garden in. And just, you know, it takes a whole community to create beautiful spaces like this, you know? Oh, and it definitely is a beautiful space. I can't wait to see what happens at the event. We're going to find out more about that event. I know I keep promising, but we are going to find out more about that event after a short break. Still to come on go, community support is needed at the Vancouver Island Crisis Line. Duncan Forest Discovery Centre celebrates 50 years. Time for the fireworks. Making rockets out of candy. And Missy and Thumper await adoption at the Parksville SPCA. 